The Girl from Amita. This is a poem set in the Philippines. The Girl from Amita. If you ever come to Manila, come down to Red Light Amita, where nightly I ply my trade. They call me Feli, I was born in Samar. I'm the girl with a bird in the head. Yes, a bird in my head. If you look deep into my eyes, you can see it flying about. You ask, what kind of bird it is? Why, a white girl, of course, for I was born in Samar by the sea. And how did it get there, this white girl in my head? Well, it flew in when I was 14, but you don't really want to hear the same old hard luck story. There are no new legends anymore. Better take me away somewhere, take me in your sweaty arms, and your eyes cold as death can feed on the pitch of my skin. Your savage heart release its black secrets. You can do what you like with me. I know all the positions. Come lie with me and I will be your love. Don't you believe me? Yes, come lie down with me. It will only cost 100 pesos and it's good therapy. I'll give good value for your money. I have the techniques learned to 10,000 nights. I will embrace you and the stars outside will mind their own bloody business. The wind will not complain, the trees not crumble, and all the cops have been bribed. Or perhaps you think yourself too grand, too good and holy to pay to lie with me. Perhaps you are afraid the universe will roar in disgust if you pay for my body. Don't you know by now life's a marketplace where we can buy cow meat, goat meat, and my meat? I was born in summer in Visayas, where the sea ran silver when I was a child, and clouds and trees were my friends. Of my own father, I only know he was a carabao of a man. And like the carabao, he was patient and ignorant, his feet stubborn in the loam. But his eyes, I remember his eyes, they held such innocence. When I was twelve, he died, and my mother and I lived on any old house. Come to think of it, I don't know how we did it. Then my mother remarried. We shifted to an old lean-to with my stepfather. I had turned 14. For a time, I was content enough. I was only a child then, and you know how children can grow smiles even out of a dung heap. Then one night, my stepfather laid his hands on my green breast and was too petrified to move. I endured for many months my stepfather's hands till one night I could not suppress my cry. My mother came to intervene. He drove my stepfather wild as a mad, rampaging bull. He punched me in the face, kicked my mother in the ribs, left us black and blue. The next day, I drew a real deep breath and ran away from home. The ferry boat crossing the sea delivered me from my past. My childhood lay like broken glass. An hour after we reached Cebu City, I got myself picked up by a dirty old man who fed me, gave me shelter and clothes, and treated me like a household pet. I was surprised how soon I got used to his caresses, no longer reacting with nausea and tears. So five years passed, five Christmases and five Easter's, I stayed with my dirty old man. In the second year, I bought him a bastard girl, a child, when I was myself a child of, six, of 16. But already the months began to wall me in. When I was 18, I went with a handsome man who took me away to Batangas. For a brief few months, I blossomed like the Sampagita with this first young man in my life. A tension time it was, the ice cream on Sundays, dances and kisses under the moon. And then it was over. His wife came screaming for our blood and we returned to her like a pup. Well, life's like that. I came to Manila in search of fame and gold, but found only dust in the crowded streets of the capital. I became a sales girl and had to sleep with my boss. I became a go-go dancer, ground my bum in the faces of fools who drool like rotten fruit while click lights tore at my skin. Now I'm landed here, where life has caught me in these jaws, and I no longer wait for miracles. I no longer care to look into the eyes of my jaws for the hold, no more secrets. Now I simply lie flat on my back, my face upturned to the sugary sky which the stars eat like white ants. Now I fuck for a refrigerator or for my daughter's school fees. My girls just turned eight this May. Yes, I will turn a trick for a meal and men can take me in any position they wish. 
The white scream never flies out of my black mouth. The radios will remain silent. The newspapers advertise soap. The priests launder the limp souls of their sinners. Yes, at night, I can be your sweet mango. But come the dawn, I'll be sour as the calamansi. There's still some acid in me, you know that. You who sit there listening so dumbly. So I've unloaded my story, and my head's just an empty hole with nameless echoes in it. Are you quite sure you don't want to take me to bed? Come, lie down with me. I will be your true love for only a hundred pesos. But you love only, but you only love green and gold and purple, and fly free into the night. For you are the white girl who left secret spaces again inside my head. But if you ever come back to Manila, come down to Red Light Amita, where nightly I ply my trade. They call me Feli. I was born in Samar by the sea. I'm the girl with a hole in her head. Thank you. Yes, I think I'm a lucky man. Indeed. Nothing equals to being alive. I still am very reluctant to die. You probably carry me kicking and swinging. Yes, it is, it is life and death uh, interlocked, really. And I think as far as death is concerned, uh, you always feel this imminent, and uh, therefore you have to do what you set out to do, which is to write. I think the thing we have to fight hard to get is sloth. You know, sloth, uh, physically, intellectually, culturally, artistically. You, know? you have to get up and work, and rework and rework at your writing until they... as near perfect as you can make it. I'm still learning. What is a poet trying to answer a question which cannot be answered? <laughs>